Hi, Zeus here. In this video, I'm going to show you Global Leaderboard Combat with four and five engines in Season 55 featuring the Chicken and Zedmod. So I'm out collecting chests with four engines and I came up against a five engine player who turned out to be the Chicken. So I want to show you the chicken's attack on my four engine dirty compact base. I've got shock launchers and he tries initially to bar it out a shock launcher. He launches seven boats of tanks and one landing craft of riflemen and bullet. He's got bullet because he's got five engines and flare. So he's got barrage, he's got flare, he's got bullet, none of, the, none of which I have. And he's having some trouble here. Out, and his bullet goes down. He didn't get my shock launcher with either of his barrages. And now he's trying to flare over to the far right. And he's losing tanks by the second down to two tanks at this point, one tank. And it looks like amazingly enough, he's not going to destroy any of my four engines, which is why as a five engine player, he lost. All right, now I'm gonna show you my attack on him. Now he's got a a compact five engine dirty base and I tried to take his base out by landing two boats of tanks on the right side ramp six boats of tanks on the left side ramp with Everspark and you know although the season is called Brick leads the charge Brick is no longer the hero of choice here I'd say that you know Everspark definitely is in four engines and I've attacked bases like this. They're very difficult to beat because all the extra cannons. Uh, one time I was successful in beating one with a combination of six tanks and two boats of Grins. Uh, for whatever reason, I chose not to do that this time. I just looked at the base design and thought maybe I could do better this way. It turned out to be a bad idea. <laughs> At any rate, I'm coming in with, with all my tanks. Uh, I'm holding on to my gunboat energy as much as I can. I'm throwing down some shocks on the Doom Cannon because that's just going to obliterate my, my tanks very fast. But I'm hoping that on the left side I can take down that, that rocket launcher, that sniper tower, and then grab that, that Boom Cannon there. <laughs> what do you know? Bad luck. Uh, Everspark grabs a flamethrower instead of a cannon. And again, I try again, and this time it grabs a sniper tower instead of the cannon, which appears to be closer to my Everspark than either of those two items were. Just some bad luck. And and that's really the difference that's going to make this attack fizzle, because if, if that one cannon had survived, the other cannon would have been distracted by it uh, for a long time while it was beating the, the Doom Cannon. Meanwhile, my, my tanks could have come and uh, done some more damage and maybe taking them both out. Tried to hide the one tank there under under smoke so at least I could get him to survive but then I forgot to smoke it back real fast as I was worried about the uh, ever spark of my two remaining tanks on the left and are they going to take down that, that engine or not. And I had no idea that the player I was up against was going to absolutely fizzle on my base. Although I have to say my base is, is very well designed and a lot of players do fizzle on it. And I'm just working everything I can think of to get my tanks to the end here, my Everspark to the end here and take down this engine so that I have a shot at least at beating this player. And of course my Everspark's health is getting lower and lower and then I got the engine and that was about all I got. So, you know, with the flamethrower taking out the critters, the cannon, the boom cannon knocked down Everspark, and that was the end of that. You can see that a lot of players are fizzling on my base. You know, when they beat my base, uh, if I go up against a five engine, 
uh, like I did with Z Zedmot, pretty tough to, to win if they've got all the extra toys. So let me show you my attack on Zedmot's base. I chose to land eight landing craft to tanks all far left with Everspark. And that, that seems to be a pretty good strategy in clearing these five engine bases because with Everspark, you've got critters ahead of you and the critters distract the boom cannons extremely well and that helps your tank survive longer. With these cannons on the base too, again, the critters are gonna distract the cannons. And I'm trying to hold back the shocks and the hacks for uh, when my troops split up from Everspark and, or the Doom Cannons in range of my troops, like right now. So one other thing here is if you hack some of the defenses right at the end, you basically can do a Hail Mary rush even though you don't have a flare. And that's something that I've done consistently to gain a little extra time. Unfortunately, Zedmot, being a five engine player, has barrage and flare, and he's going to obliterate my base very effectively by knocking down the mines, which are you know, really the one of the main things about my base that's really good. The shock mines slow down whatever it is that's coming at me giving my shock launchers and my defenses time to obliterate the troops that are coming at me. And, you know, Zedmot's a skilled player and manages to deconstruct my base pretty well. He's using Iron Will here with Brick. All right, next I'm gonna show you a, a battle where I beat a base that had cannons in dirty four engines. These bases are extremely hard to clear with any kind of troops. It is an option that some players are using, spending extra keys to go through kind of a useless node to get to the cannon node before opening five engines. And about the only way that I've found to beat these, these bases with the cannons the five cannons is to use two boats of grenadiers in the mix and the grenadiers very effectively clear the the mines the shock mines that are so problematic in getting your troops killed i landed two boats of tanks on the far right and they take out some of these defenses so the bulk of my troops end up going left which is how i need them to go to win otherwise the dune can obliterates them and then I throw down a shock to slow down the boom camp from killing all my troops. So I'm waiting for my troops to take out the flamethrower and the sniper tower so that I can hack the two boom cannons there. I'm going to sh throw down some shocks to get those two boom cannons to stop shooting at my tanks. And you know, he's got very well placed uh, dual shock launchers and that's really problematic for tank based attack but if you get down to this point you're in pretty good shape because the critters are distracting the boom cannon you can hack the remaining shock launcher and once that flamethrower goes down you have only single shot weapons that can hurt your tanks and there's too many tanks and too many critters for the single shot weapons to even get a shot up at your tanks. So this, this attack worked really well. Now again, at the end, by hacking one of the remaining defenses, it speeds up my attack because my critters are gonna go straight for the last engine and my tanks are gonna go straight for the last engine and worked out very nicely. Now here's an attack on a compact dirty four engine base without the cannons. And as you see, what I do here is I land one boat of tanks far right and seven boats of tanks far left with Everspark. And what that does is it, it, it positions my tanks per, uh, perfectly to reduce this base, eliminate the shock mines w and, and without pulling everything too far to the right in the range of the Doom Cannon. 
And there I got lucky. I was able to hack a, a boom cannon, throw down a shock to slow down the, the doom cannon from killing all my troops. Not so problematic that that shock launcher was slowing down the tanks on the left because I had critters distracting the boom cannon. Throw down another shock on the doom cannon. And again, this base is all but beaten. I, I do the remote hack on the one machine gun to speed up the ability to attack the doom cannon. And base goes down. A lot of people have tremendous difficulty beating that kind of base, which is the kind of base that I'm currently running. All right, this is the tech tree. These are the things I don't have. I don't have artillery. I don't have warrior. I don't have flare. Smoke is on level one. I don't have riflemen. I have medics on level one. I have Everspark in level four. It's all you need in level five is, is extremely expensive in keys, which you'll need later. I have Cryoneer in level one, which I'm not using. I have not opened cannon yet or the fifth engine. That's the troop node that boost node that isn't very useful. Uh, don't have barrage. Next I'm going to open barrage cannon, the fifth engine, and this building health node. This is my current status. I'm on a five times win streak and beat a player who had beat me before I got shock launchers. So that was a nice piece of karma. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give this video a like. It'll help build our channel with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel so you get notified of future videos that we have posted. We have a variety of Boom Beach videos on a variety of topics to explore over 200 on our channel. And thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.